Hey guys, and welcome to a, another American Truck Simulator video. So, today we're in a Kenworth T908. It's powered by a C15 cat motor with 550 horsepower. And we are currently sat in Reading. We have a load of large wind turbine blades that weigh three tons and they are an oversized load. Um, the reason why I'm parked here is the load was down behind this power generator you can see over the back here and it was shoved on the other side of that and it took me a little while to get it out so I decided not to include that in our video today. So we are going across to Eureka, it is a rather short trip uh, but I'm sure it'll be filled with calamities because we are hauling an oversized load and the AI drivers aren't that good at driving. So yeah, well, I'll fire the truck up and that's our C15 cat and I'll just put some lights on and we'll jump inside. So this truck has got a few customizations for it. Um, the first of which being is the cab. So it's got four different cabs that you can use. Uh, we've got a day cab, we've got the sleeper cab, which I've got the low roof sleeper cab, and then there are two high rise options. So there's a high rise mid roof and then the full aero high rise. So they're the options that you have for the sleeper. Um, then we've also got uh, options for our bumper, uh, our bonnet ornament. Uh, we've got options for the bug deflector and additional guards and stuff at the front. And then there's also options around your headlights. You can change the tires, the color. You can put air cleaners up in the air. You can have just the chrome dome. You can put lights on it. You do all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can also change rear guards and stuff like that. So there's lots of customizations you can do on this truck. Uh, one thing you can't do from standard, however, is actually put additional headlights or spotlights on the bull bar if you put the bull bar on. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are mods that you can download to do that. So. Yeah, I've driven this truck a couple of times and I really like this truck. Um, probably because it is an Australian truck that I have seen around. But yeah, we're just gonna head off down the road here. Um, we've got an 18 speed Road Ranger trans, uh, road, uh, 18 speed Eden Fuller transmission. Um, behind this so we have no troubles with selecting gears we've got plenty of gears to select um, so we're gonna have to stop here So while we're stopped here, um, I, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our video schedule. So, for those of you who have watched my Dishonored video and my Life in the Hills video, you guys may know now that we are going to be doing... Um, Uh, you, you guys will know that we are going to be now doing four videos a week. So that means that on the Monday we will have a Dishonored video out. Then on Wednesday there will be an American Truck Simulator backhaul video. And then on the Friday we will be live on the hills. And then on Sunday we will have a test drive video. Uh, every second week with the American Truck Simulators we will be doing a daily drive though. So the daily drive will be a truck that uh, I pick and then 
So every week we'll then, every second week we'll then just do two trips in it. So we might do a bit of oversized work like this and some other stuff that we don't normally do in the showcase of the truck. So it's just like a little bit of extra and that's where I will tow trailers that you guys recommend. So the idea for these videos is that the um, test drive videos will be trucks that are new or you guys recommend to me and that's when we'll drive them. And then because we won't always have time to showcase trailers in that as well, we will then showcase trailers in our daily drive videos. So as a daily drive truck, for now, I think this will be our daily drive truck. So we're going to use this Kenworth D908 as our daily driver. Now I know for you guys this is the first time you've seen this truck and you, you're probably sitting there thinking, well how can you say that when you know we've only driven this truck once? Well I've driven it a couple of times, I've done, done a few loads with this truck and I really actually like this truck. I, I think it's a nice it's a nice looking truck. It's got a nice interior, all the dials and gauges work and it's also got some it's got some very nice um, sounds, it's got powerful motor and I think it's got everything that we need to do trailer showcases. So, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to mention about our video schedule. Uh, if you guys do want to see more of Life in the Hills, uh, just let me know and I can, if we've got a big enough majority that want to, then I can move the schedule around a bit so you guys get to see more Life in the Hills. Um, and I'd also like to say once Dis the Dishonored series has finished it will be replaced by Life in the Hills so Life in the Hills will come back to two episodes a week once Dishonored is finished but I thought Dishonored would be a fun series to do it's a bit different to all the other games that I play on this on my channel and I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing something like that. Uh, if you guys don't, then you know, let let me know, and we can we can work around that. Maybe change up the schedule a little. We actually touched the embankment here. This could be interesting to get out of. Let's see, this is why we don't have a car in front of us. Nope. Need a lower gear. I forgot how tight it is coming up through here into Eureka. Probably not the smartest load to be towing into Eureka. Oh, this could be a problem. This could be a very, very big problem. And here I was thinking this would be a nice, easy drive up to Eureka. go excitement over <laughs> back on the road again and hopefully we don't have any more mishaps like that one hopefully it's all smooth running now whoa our GPS has died there you go. <laughs> so apparently that's that, that may be a small little bug. Um, what I've just done, 
is that's beacon lights on. So if I head out, we've got our flashing lights. I turn them off and head back in the truck and it's fine. So when we turn the beacon on, it just goes really bright white. And when it's off, it's normal. So yeah, that, that might be a small little problem if you are towing oversized loads and you're using beacon lights. Other than that, I don't have anything else to complain about with this truck. Uh, we've got our high beam and give it uh, indicator um, indicator indicators in the bent in the dash here. So when we put our indicator on, we can see which one we've got on. Same goes for headlights, and then you can see the. Um, headlight one on there, and then there's one for high beam as well. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this truck, what you think of the trailers. Um, there's half a dozen trailers to this pack, so there's wind turbine blades, power generators, platforms, uh, there's trains, there's all sorts in this mod, so let me know what you guys think of this mod and of the trailer mod and what you think of this truck. Um, yeah, if you like this video, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more of these videos right as they come out. And yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for today's video. Um, and yeah, we're just going to drive the rest of the way into town, and then we'll park up, back the trailer in, and then that'll be it for this this haul episode. So this one may be a bit shorter than the last few episodes. And then, yeah, we'll have a, this will be our Sunday test drive, and then there'll be another video, just like this one, uh, out on Wednesday. So we'll be back in this truck and it will be for our backhaul. So we'll be coming from here in Eureka, in fact it'll be, I'll record these back to back. So it'll be from here in Eureka and we'll be heading back to wherever we can get a load to. And we'll be back in this 908. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, one last thing I'd like to point out with this truck is the fuel economy on it. It has great fuel economy. It's also got great range because it has 2,400 litres of fuel. Now, I'm not sure what that is in gallons, um, but there's a car. Oh, there's a van on the corner. I did not see the van. So while, while we waited for this van to do some stuff, I think he's actually crashed into the sign when we pushed him. Alright, let's just back back up a little bit. So... There we go, the van is flattening the sign for us. So what I'm saying is it's got really good fuel range, um, and yeah, I've only fueled it once since I bought it, and I've done probably about three or four loads with it now, so it's, it's pretty good. But for this last little bit, 
I think we're going to jump outside of the truck just so you guys can actually hear the engine. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to hop outside. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the sound of this truck. I uh, don't know if we're going to get this first attempt. The trailer is slightly crooked. Yeah, we're going to pull forward and we're going to try again. So yeah, I hope you guys like the sound of the truck. And I will put a link in the description for this truck and for the trailer mod as well so yeah if you want if you want to download this truck or this trailer then head down to the description there will be a link there but there we are guys so we're all parked up and turn the truck off and there we are so we've gone from Reading across to Eureka nice short trip uh, hope you guys enjoyed it Hope you enjoyed our little chat that we had, and yeah, if you want to see more of this kind of video, please head down, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe so you can see them right as they come out. Um, one last thing I would like to say is these load destinations uh, for these turbine blades and some of these loads are a bit strange. So we picked this up from Chevron, uh, which is a fuel oil company. So you know it's a little strange we pick it up from there and then we've delivered it to Walmart so there's a few strange little bits with loads um, I do try and pick loads that make some kind of sense but I wanted to head across to Eureka to find Eureka and this was the only load that was going there so that's the load that we got so yeah this is this is the truck and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good one and stay safe.